Well, the Manipur tragedy, where 65 people are feared dead due to massive landslide, most of whom are personnel of the Territorial Army. Well, uh, so far, uh, nine, 11, bodies, uh, 11 bodies have been recovered today from the debris, taking the number to recoveries to 19 since yesterday. So, we must now we go live to our chief of bureau, Arindam Das, who is at the site, which is about 60 kilometers from state capital, Imphal. All right, now I'm being joined live with Arindam Das. So, Arindam, two more bodies recovered. Where are you at this point in time and how's the situation there, Arindam? Give us more details. Yes, a massive search and rescue operation is underway at None, which is the site of this massive landslide, which has hit Tupul Railway Yard. This is a project of the NF Railway. It's a railway line connecting Jiribam with Impol, which is a total length of 110 kilometers. And before the completion of this project, a massive disaster has struck this ambitious project of the NF Railway. This uh, scene, I can tell you that uh, it's a, a massive landslide and an entire mountain has come down and it has gone all the way down to the stream Ijai River that's below Ijai River and uh, it has blocked the Ijai River below. And right now I can tell you that not two, three bodies recovered uh, down the hill or uh, near the Ijai River and uh, efforts are being on right now to bring up the bodies. You can see the first body there. There, It's being brought by the NDRF uh, personnel. So it's a very mammoth task for them even to retrieve the bodies and bring them uphill. Uh, and uh, the other two bodies are below there. They're also being carried up right now. It's taking a lot of time to bring up the bodies from downstream. Because, uh, you see, the entire mountain has come down and this, is, this has made the rescue and search operation more challenging because the agencies engaged in the rescue and search operation, they have no reference right now. It's a huge area where to carry out the search and rescue operations, where are the, which are the areas where there are chances of finding the bodies, who are, uh, the bodies of the people who are trapped uh, under this debt been told that uh, this debris uh, height would be uh, around, uh, uh, if, we, if we compare with a uh, four-story building, so uh, the people, around 59 people who are still feared trapped under this debris is under a four-story building of, uh, so that is the amount of uh, uh, mud or debris that has come up from the hill and gone down to the stream. In fact, the uh, the, the landslide uh, started from that point, from the tip of the hill, and it came all the way down. Everything that came on the way, there were territorial army camp, there were NF really employees camping here, apart from the villagers here. So it was around 2 a.m. day before yesterday when the people were in deep slumber when this massive landslide struck this area. They had no idea as to what had happened. And all of a sudden, it was bleak darkness in front of them. And right now, I can tell you that a massive search and combing operation, uh, operation is being uh, done by the Army, NDRF, and SDRF team. The locals are also assisting the search and rescue operations. And in fact, uh, a, a amateur mountaineering group of Manipur has also come ahead to give a helping hand in this rescue and search operation. So I can tell you that yesterday, eight bodies were recovered, and today, 11 bodies recovered so far. So the total number of uh, bodies recovered so far has uh, gone up to 19. Another 59, we have been told, are still trapped under this huge debris, an entire mountain has come down. So the people are buried under a mountain. So the chances of finding anybody alive from that debris is very, very thin. As, and as time is running out, it will be a miracle to find somebody alive in that uh, debris. It is almost 48 hours now since this disaster struck this area. 
and right now also efforts are on to locate as many number of people as uh, can be done right now but uh, the bodies uh, which have been recovered are on, from the downhill area near that EJ river so the people who might be trapped in this portion that's the middle portion of the mountain or the up, uh, upper uh, reaches of the mountain it would be very difficult for the agencies engaged in the rescue and search operations to find them because as I mentioned, it's a huge debris. An entire mountain has come down and it has buried all that came in its way. All right, uh, Arindam, as you've already mentioned that relentless rescue operations is underway at this point in time by the NDRF and SDRF. Well, not only the NDRF and SDRF, in fact, uh, in fact the locals, they are also helping to carry out the rescue operations. So Arindam, my question to you, like approximately how many people they are engaged in the rescue operations at this point in time in that spot, Arindam? Well, a massive deployment has been made by the Army, the NDRF and SDRF uh, teams here. And all I can say that uh, the area is huge. And uh, as uh, I have mentioned, that uh, it is very challenging for the people who are carrying out the rescue and search operations because it's a huge area. They don't know exactly where to search for the people who are still buried here, here under this debris. It's a huge area. They don't have this point as to where to carry out the search and rescue operations and as i have mentioned that all the bodies recovered so far are downhill uh, near the river ej it, and uh, no bodies have been recovered in this portion that's the middle portion of the mountain which has entirely caved in and in fact the mountain caved in and blocked the ej river creating an artificial reservoir and efforts are right now on to clear that blockage because that might be another catastrophe in the waiting uh, because if this uh, dam like uh, scenario which has been created by this mudslide if that uh, burst then there might be flash floods downstream and villages downstream might face the brunt of this flash floods so efforts are right now underway using heavy art movers and excavators to clear up the stream of this uh, river so that water can flow easily and there uh, will not be any blockages. So efforts around uh, to uh, right now locate the people who are trapped inside and also uh, to clear this uh, river stream which has been blocked by this mudslide. So massive rescue operations underway at this point in time in a Tupul area in non aid district. Uh, so Arindam, are sufficient materials available like the earth cutters and all for, 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 the, for the smooth uh, running of the rescue operation there in, in that spot Arindam? Yes, uh, let me tell you that uh, the distance from Imphal to the Stupul railway yard is around 63 kilometers, but it took us around uh, more than three hours to reach this location. So you can uh, make out that uh, how difficult it is this uh, uh, terrain. I mean, the roads are very uh, treacherous. Uh, even uh, this stretch of the road is blocked right now. Heavy earth movers and excavators are used to clear this uh, debris so that uh, the art moving uh, vehicles like the JCB and other uh, heavy equipments can move uh, so that can expedite uh, the search and rescue operations. But uh, right now, all the search and rescue operations are being carried out by the foot soldiers of the Army, NDRF and SDRF. All right, Arindam Das, thank you so much for all those details.